In today's video, we're here to talk about every single fragrance I wore over the past week. If you're interested, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things that sound interesting to you, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you've never seen one of these videos from me, I do them every couple of weeks. And basically, they are very chill videos. I come on vlog style and tell you guys every day what fragrance I'm wearing, a little bit about the fragrance, and why I chose it for that specific day. At the end of the video, I come back and give you guys my three standout fragrances for the week, and they could be standouts for good reasons or for bad reasons. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this week's fragrances. So I'm very excited to be filming this week because this week I'm doing something different. I am going to pick, each time I wear a fragrance, I'm going to pick something from a different section and order. So for instance, this very first fragrance will be from this section. So these are, my racks are kind of in threes, so that's kind of how I split it. So it'll be like first fragrance, second fragrance, third fragrance, you get what I'm saying? So the first fragrance I am picking from this section. Um, it, today, happy Sunday, y'all. <laughs> Getting ready to go to church. Um, it's not too, well, I don't know if it's hot, but it's not sunny right now. It's kind of overcast. So I really didn't know what I wanted to wear. But I think I am going to go for Valaya from Parfums de Marley. This is a, I don't know, I, I haven't worn it much yet. But I feel like it's like a citrusy, musky fragrance. And the citrus kind of smells more orange-like like mandarin orange orange blossom mixed with musk and um a little bit of woodiness but not too much on my skin but yeah i'm still kind of trying to get to know this fragrance and this is kind of one of the reasons why i wanted to do this is because y'all know i sometimes will do my weekly fragrance trays but i felt like this is kind of a way to do a fragrance tray without having to pull things off and to kind of just make me <laughs> look and pick <laughs> without um you know i don't know we'll see how it goes but i'm excited to try it out this week so anyway this is what i am wearing for today parfums de marley valaya hey y'all it's sunday night and the scent that i'm wearing tonight is side effect by initio the section that i have for tonight was basically initio and homage so i didn't really know what i wanted to wear it's between this and material by homage but i decided to go for this because i've been wanting to wear this lately but I just have not yet. I usually think of this as more of a going out scent. However, tonight I'm just hanging out at home, but I wanted to wear it. And I feel like this is nice that I'm doing this because it's kind of pushing me to pick a scent that I may not pick for that particular occasion. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, side effect is beautiful. It's a boozy, saffron, kind of leathery scent. Um, it's a little bit sweet, but it's sweet in the boozy way. Kind of smells like there may be some dried fruits in here as well and um, cinnamon. So anyway, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Hey y'all, happy Monday. So today I started out by applying this Lalicious The Oil. I know it looks weird, but that's because coconut oil is in it and it's solidified. Um, that is... One of the things with this oil, they on the package for this, they do talk about that and how it doesn't change the um, quality. It's just, you know, a natural phenomenon with coconut oil. Anyway, um, yeah, so I start out by applying this. This kind of has this light kind of tropical coconut smell, but it smells very natural. I, um, I really enjoy the smell of this. So started out by this. So this is the section we're in for today. Before I show you what I'm wearing today, I'm gonna to show you what I kind of thought about wearing. I was thinking about wearing this. This is Hellbot from Tiziana Terenzi. This is a heavy scent and I haven't worn it recently, but I've been wanting to wear it, but I decided not to wear this today because right now I'm in the house, um, but my son is out with his dad getting lunch. And when they come back, we're probably gonna be outside. And I felt like this was just gonna to be too heavy and too much because I think we're probably gonna to try to do some 
bike riding or something today. So anyway, I was thinking about wearing this, but I decided to go for Santal Comple from Fragrance Dubois. I love this fragrance. It's a sandalwood coconut scent, perfect for warm weather. Um, doesn't have the best projection on longevity, but I do feel like as I've had this, that it continues to get better. So I do really enjoy this. I love the scent of it. And um, I felt like this would be a good choice. It's not something that I wear all the time. So I'm really enjoying wearing it right now. Hey y'all, it's Monday night and tonight I am wearing White Suede by Tom Ford. The texture for tonight was pretty much just all Tom Ford. And I like wearing this one around my house. I figured this will be a good one to choose. This is a, it's a suede scent, um, like a light leathery scent, but it's mainly musk. So musky suede, it has a little bit of smokiness to it. I find it very calm and comforting. So yeah, this is what I am wearing for tonight. Good morning, happy Tuesday. So today I started out by applying this Nishane Ani oil. Ani smells like a green citrusy ginger vanilla. So I started out by applying this. And my fragrance came from this section today, this little middle section here. So I picked Electimus Imperium today. This is a another green vanilla. But the citruses that are in here, to me, they lean in the pineapple direction, like the Aventus pineapple direction. <laughs> so not like sweet, juicy pineapple, more like the more masculine side of pineapple, for lack of better words. Um, so this is one that I think actually does better in hot weather because I feel like once it gets out into the warmth, it the vanilla comes out more in it. And to me, that makes it smell a little bit more feminine on my skin. But anyway, I combined it with the Ani oil today right now, and I am loving it. This is my first time wearing this little combo. And I picked this because um, my kids, one of my kids has a doctor's appointment today. So I knew I didn't want like anything too crazy. Um, I got about an hour. This is kind of strong at first spray, but I got about an, at least an hour before the appointment. So it would have died down by then. So yeah, I was going to pick Metalik by Tom Ford, but I figured I should pick something that's not Tom Ford since I went, since I wore Tom Ford yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Tuesday night and tonight I'm wearing Italica by Zerjov. I haven't worn this fragrance in a little bit. I feel like it's been like a couple months. Anyway, my section tonight was all Zerjov and I was going to go for Lyra because I like to wear that one to bed a lot. But I figured I would switch it up and go for Italica. This is a milky almond toffee scent that is quite sweet and it also has some saffron in it. It gives a little bit of spice. Um, but yeah, I do like this for bedtime. But I just haven't worn it a bit in a while, so yeah, I'm happy to be wearing it tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I'm in a little bit of a rush today, so I'm going to try to be quick about this. But um, today I started out by applying this Boom Boom Body for Mesa Oil. This is caramel, pistachio, coconut goodness. And the section that I'm in is this one right here. So all the way from the top, all the way here. So this little area is stopping basically right there. And the fragrance I decided to choose is this one. It's Casablanca from Swiss Arabian. I haven't worn this in ages. So I'm excited to wear it today. This is like um, sparkling apple cider, but it also has like a musky, ambery, woody base and uh, has some caramel notes to it as well. But yeah, um, it's a sweet fragrance and I think I don't wear it much because number one, I've had it for a while, but also it's all it's one of the ones that I keep all the way on that, that back shelf because it's a tall bottle. So yeah, I'm happy to pull it out today. So I decided to go for this because I do have a couple errands to run and this is the one that kind of just spoke to me when I looked in this area right before I took my shower. So anyway, this is what I'm wearing for today. Hey y'all, it's Wednesday night and tonight I'm wearing Rosendo Mato number five. This is a super sensual vanilla amber scent, musky scent. It kind of smells a slight bit animalic, a slight bit like leathery. I love it though. It's not going to be for everybody, but to me, this scent is so addictive. And usually I don't wear this around my house, but it was in my section for tonight. By the way, I don't usually do my night sections up in my closet because I feel like I have to talk too loud and I don't want my kids to hear me <laughs> because they're in the bed and they don't need to be getting up trying to figure out what's going on. So anyway, that's why I don't show you all my sections at night. But anyway, um, yeah, this is in my section and I've been thinking about wearing this lately and I just haven't, you know, that's like one of the perils of having so many fragrances is that you can never wear everything that you think about. So 
I went ahead and wore it tonight, even though I'm not doing anything, but I smell freaking amazing. I made a great choice. <laughs> So anyway, this is what I'm wearing for tonight. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I'm getting ready to take my kids to summer camp and therapy. Uh, so I'm just going to spray on something real quick. Uh, very easy. This will not be... We almost had a tragedy as I was, as I was trying to get this while I'm holding the phone. But anyway, um, this won't be my all-day scent. But I'm going to spray on Pacific Lime by Atelier Colognes. This is a nice uh, beachy summer scent. It smells like lime and coconut and salt. Love it, but I haven't worn it, I don't think, since last summer. So this is what I'm going to wear for this part of the day. Hey, y'all. So it's still Thursday, and I just shower, getting dressed for the day. And I started out by applying this uh, Real Zine Body Sorbet. This is a bright citrusy uh, body lotion. I really want to, I'm on the hunt for something that smells similar to this that's different. Because this is not really that moisturizing. And it also has um, some AHAs in it. So you should wear sunscreen over it if you're going to wear it during the day. And I ain't that great about my sunscreen, y'all. So anyway... <laughs> I started out by wearing this and my section for today is this little section here so my cupcakes my Mugler fragrances and my house of oud uh so the fragrance that i picked for today is this one this is hufflepuff this is part of the harry potter collection and this was sent to me i love it though it is a um vanilla a citrusy vanilla scent i feel like it has lemon it feels like it has some ginger the vanilla in here is sweet but it's also kind of light and airy and definitely feels like there's like whipped cream or something in this fragrance anyway love this fragrance i decided to go with this one because i'm getting ready to go to the doctor and it's my well women's or lady parts appointment so you know i wanted to give the doctor a little treat <laughs> I'm joking, but I'm not really. I'm like telling the truth. So I didn't want to wear anything too heavy. I never like to wear something super heavy to a doctor's office, but I wanted to wear something that she could smell because she'd be all up in my business. So yeah, I picked Hufflepuff. <laughs> so yeah, this is my uh, fragrance for today. Hey y'all, it's Thursday night. And tonight my section is this little tray. I was going to do these two trays together, like this big section here. However, I really don't wear this tray that much, so I decided to do this as its own section and then this as its own section tomorrow. Um, so yeah, this tray is the one I'm choosing from for tonight. And tonight I decided I am going to wear this fragrance. This, this is Vani Fleury de Tahiti by, by La Maison de la Vani. And this is a fruity kind of tropical but thick vanilla. It's, it's quite sweet and it's kind of ice cream like in my opinion but i love this fragrance I, this is one of the vanillas that i do wear during the summer so yeah i just wanted to smell something sweet tonight so i decided to go for this good morning y'all happy friday so today my section is this tray right here i know it just looks like a lot here but let me show y'all from the side so this tray this front tray is my section today and um right now i'm just getting ready to do some stuff around the house like some like computer work and some stuff i need to do for my family um like my uh dad and my aunt stuff like that so anyway i'm gonna be on the computer and filling out paperwork and stuff so I wanted to wear a fragrance to help me, but I'm also going to Pilates in a couple hours and I won't be taking a shower before then because I just took my shower. So um, yeah, I didn't want something that was too heavy. So the fragrance that I decided to go with is Another 13 by La Labo. This is a beautiful molecular fragrance that is one of those fragrances that some people smell some people don't but if you can smell it what i get is like a very light woody airy type scent this definitely does better in hot weather in my opinion so i always get compliments on this but this is one that i do go agnostic to sometimes but right now i can smell it it smells good it smells very clean girl aesthetic and i felt like this would just be a good choice for what i'm doing today so yeah this is what i'm wearing for today Hey y'all, it's Friday night and this is my section for tonight. And the fragrance that I'm wearing tonight is this little beauty here. This is from Alexander J. This is Oriental Enigma. I actually talked about this in my most recent like date night video. I will link it for you all. But um, this is a spicy, sweet, addictive fragrance. I have never worn it on a date. 
to my knowledge anyway i don't think i have i don't think i've ever worn on a date but if i have it was when it was cold so we'll see how it does tonight but i feel like i smell delicious right now so yeah this is what i'm wearing for tonight hey y'all happy saturday so the tray that i'm on today is this one this is normally where i would keep like a weekly perfume tray or whatever but these are actually all the fragrances from my last fragrance haul they've been sitting on this tray um for a couple weeks now just so they can kind of be at the forefront and i typically do this whenever i get new fragrances i'll put them on this tray before i actually move them into my collection but anyway so my fragrance that i'm wearing today is cassiopeia by tiziana terenzi this is a fizzy fruity fun airy scent kind of gives me candy like vibes kind of gives me sprite like vibes as well <laughs> and um yeah this is what i'm wearing for today i picked this because it's saturday it's hot i don't know exactly what i'm doing today but i kind of want to go out to a couple stores so i figured this would be a good choice for the super hot weather we're having so yeah this is what i'm wearing for today hey y'all it's saturday night and I finished all my trays, and so the fragrance I'm wearing is one that I'm actually testing out. So y'all are getting a sneak peek. This is Tiziana Terenzi Talea. This is my first time wearing it, so I'm not gonna talk about it because I'm gonna have a full video about it, but I wanted to share this is my Saturday night scent. So those were all my fragrances for the week. And I have to say, doing my fragrances this way was fun. But it also is something that I don't know if I would do on a regular basis. But it was fun to do it this time around. I kind of felt slightly stifled <laughs> when I was picking a fragrance. But then I also felt like it kind of helped me because it made me reach for things that, I may, that may not have been my first choice. So I think it was good to do. And I think I will try to do it again in the future. But it's not going to be something that I do every week. I do have three standout fragrances to share with you and all three of these are standouts for good reasons this week thankfully so the first one that I have here is actually my scent of the day when I film this portion of the video it's typically on Saturday so today is Saturday in my life <laughs> you'll be seeing this on Sunday but in real time I'm filming this on a Saturday so my scent of the day was Cassiopeia from Tiziana Terenzi and the reason that this one is a standout is because this is only my second time wearing this fragrance this is one of the newer fragrances to my collection and the first time I wore it I felt like I really couldn't smell it much and I don't know what it was maybe it just needed to settle you know I had it shipped to me I don't know but today when I wore it and I was out in the heat I was smelling myself and as I was walking in and out of stores I was thinking man you smell amazing Aisha <laughs> And then to top that off, so I already knew it was going to be a standout. But to top that off, when I got home, I was taking my bags out of the car and my husband came out to help me. And he was like, oh, you smell really good, which is a major compliment for my husband because he acts like he can never smell my fragrance. So, yeah, Cassiopeia. Oh, <laughs> my top wasn't on all the way. That could have been disastrous. Whoa, <laughs> we're not editing that out. Cassiopeia is my first standout for this week. Second standout is another 13 from the Labo. And the reason this one is a standout is because I actually received another compliment on it. So sometimes I get compliments, sometimes I don't. A lot of days I am not really around anybody who would give me a compliment. So if I don't get a compliment on a fragrance, I'm, I'm good with it. Like it doesn't make me feel any type of way about that fragrance. However, when I do get a compliment, I really enjoy it. And typically if I get a compliment, I try to put it as a standout fragrance because I like to tell y'all about the compliments I receive. So anyway, another 13, this very light, minimal scent. I got a compliment on when I went to Pilates. <laughs> And the girl, I walked past the girl and then I got on the reformer next to her and she was like, you smell amazing. She was like, I didn't know if I should say something, but as soon as you like walk into my vicinity, I was thinking, oh my gosh, you smell so good. So she asked me what I was wearing and then she asked me how to spell it. Um, so yeah, I felt like that was a really good compliment. She said it just smelled so clean and fresh and she hadn't ever smelled anything like it before. So I definitely wanted to give this one a shout out. That's another 13 by Lalabo. The third standout is Hufflepuff by House of Siage. And again, this one is a standout because I received compliments on this as well. So I wore this to a doctor's appointment and <laughs> two ladies complimented me on it. Um, my nurse and uh, I think another like med tech or something or another nurse 
complimented me on it. And my nurse said that she smelled me as soon as she called me back. When I walked in the door, she was thinking, oh my gosh, I smell good. And then when the other nurse complimented me on it, then my nurse jumped in. It's like, oh, I wanted to tell you you smell so good, but I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and she was saying that she had allergies and that even with her allergies, she could still smell it. And I was like, oh, I hope I didn't spray on too much. That's what I said to her. And they were like, oh no, you smell amazing. So I had to write down the name of the fragrance for one of the nurses. My doctor, when she was seeing me, she didn't say anything, but I'm sure she smelt it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna assume that she wanted to compliment me too, but it wasn't appropriate. So <laughs> anyway, um, this is Hufflepuff from House of Siage. So those are my fragrances for the week. Let me know if you've tried any of the fragrances I mentioned. What did you think of them? Also, let me know what was your one standout fragrance for the past week, whether it be a good standout or a bad standout. We'd love to talk about that kind of stuff in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I typically upload videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I have tons of content for you to check out in your free time. Also, if you're not already following me on my website, check me out. It's www.simplyayusha.com. Com. Go over there, check out my website, get on my email list over there so you can see what else I like to talk about besides fragrance. Also, if you want to connect with me more, follow me over on Instagram. I love to chit chat with y'all in my DMs and I'm in my stories almost every day over there. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.